Hello again guys, time for chapter 5, time to look at uh, Elliot Way's theory. I'm going to deal with, uh, with a short introduction in this recording and the next recording is going to take, I'm going to take a look to show you an impulsive move, what it looks like, what to look for, and on the third one, on the third recording for this chapter, we're going to take a look at a corrective move, just an example, because corrections in Elliot Way's uh, theory are such a vast, a vast, uh, Territory. Then, of all, also on this chapter, we'll take a look at Andrew Pitchfork, a couple of recordings, and of course at W. T. Gunn, and that would be chapter five. Now, as a short history, uh, as a short introduction for the Elliot Wave theory, this is one of the most, if not the most, uh, well-known trading theory out there in uh, in this trading world. I don't think actually that there is a trader out there that with uh, that didn't. That don't know uh, or didn't heard at least once uh, in his trading life or her trading life about the Elliott Wave theory. Now this theory came after after the man that uh, that invented it. It has been uh, he has been called um, he has been his name was uh, Ralph and Elliot and there you go the Elliott Wave theory. Normally the basic the basic of an Elliott Wave theory theory is extremely simple. For example, all the theory, all Elliott wave theory is based on five waves up. So one, two, three, four, five, okay? So five waves up, or like this, corrected with three waves down. A, B, C. Period. That's it. This is Elliot Wave theory. So let's put a number on it. So this is 1, 2, 3, Four and five and this is an A B and C so this is the basic principle for the Elliott wave, wave, uh, wave theory. So you have waves one, two, three, four, five, five waves up, corrected with, corrected with three waves down. This and nothing else. Okay. The first move in here, the, fir the first one, two, three, four, five, it is being called an impulsive move, and the ABC is being called a corrective move. Now sounds complicated. Well, it is complicated. It looks, it looks to be simple, but it is complicated because, because. Each wave that you have in here, wave one, or the, the first wave, or the second wave, the third wave, the fourth wave, each wave in here is being formed of another sequence of five waves up and three legs down. Five waves up and three, and correcting like this. So five waves correcting with, with, uh, with, uh, with an ABC. There are a lot of a lot of rules and um, a lot of rules and um, laws, so to say, in this uh, in the Elliott wave theory. Rules to to be to be followed. Um, rules to be looked for. Shapes and patterns to be looked for. But this is exactly the beauty of this uh, of this theory. For example, you in in the first wave in here, you might have a small impulse formed out of one, two, three, four, five waves. Or in this leg in here, instead of an ABC, which, by the way, a correction might be a zigzag, a flat, a running flat, a common flat, an irregular, a double correction, a triple correction, a complex correction, and so on and so forth. A triangle. What kind of a triangle? A continuation triangle, which is a contracting triangle, an irregular triangle. All these kinds of patterns are being treated in the Elliott Wave theory. Uh, and um, being treated with rules, proportions, Fibonacci retracement, Fibonacci expansions, so on and so forth. It is not 
It is not an easy TV to understand, and from my point of view it works best when you are using it in a top-down analysis. That means, starting with a higher time frame, the higher the, higher the time frame, the better, the better the result. There is, you start from the monthly chart, for example, and you come back towards the one-hour chart. This chart in here that you see, it is a four-hour chart of the Great Britain Bond US dollar. And actually, you don't know how to count this structure in here. If you, if you, if you don't know the count on a super cycle, this is a one, two, three, four, five, maybe just one leg, okay, one, maybe, uh, maybe just wave one of, uh, of a higher degree. Okay, and this correction in here be actually only be uh, uh, actually only the second wave and then to look for the third wave to the, to the upside. So do a top-down analysis and keep in mind that this cellular wave theory is subjective. There is a saying that if 10 different trades, traders look at the same, at the same currency, currency pair for example and, and they do an analysis on the pair starting with uh, a top-down analysis with, with uh, the higher time frame and going to the lower time frame, you will have 10 different results. Why? Because, because of the subjectivity on, on, uh, of the theory. What goes up, it is not necessarily to be uh, um, an impulsive move, this might be just I don't know, an impulse in a correction of a higher degree or a lower degree. So a good understanding of cycles and how, and how, um, how the counting is on all the time frame would help you deal with such a problem. But this is exactly the beauty of this of this uh, Elliott wave theory because one scenario eliminates another and so on. So unless you try you try uh, with this top down analysis meaning starting from a higher time frame and going to the to the lower one you are basically totally lost. One scenario uh, excluding the other for example in a triangle I'm just giving you an example in a triangle when you have uh, when you have uh, an ABC move in the form of uh, and the way they being in the form of a leading diagonal, this is also explained under the Elliott wave, wave principle. Then it is not possible for the C wave to be an ending diagonal, so it must be an impulse. And all these rules of eliminating one one with one with another uh, actually should uh, should help you uh, understand this uh, this theory more and more. It is not. It is not enough just to read a book, or to uh, or to look all over one uh, one people's charts, but uh, you have to do it by yourself. Going there, read the rules. How an impulsive uh, move should look like. How an corrective move should look like. So on and so forth. And this is the only way how you are going to learn. Um, the complicated part of the LFA theory. Funny, it is not the impulsive uh, move in here, but the corrections. The corrections are extremely complicated with fake moves, uh, triangles that, uh, that uh, burst and break into, into opposite directions, double and triple corrections. A lot of, a lot of ink has been, has been uh, out there on the pages describing such a theory. Now for, uh, for the purpose of introducing you to the Elliott Wave theory, I would recommend the Cliff Draw book, the Elliott Wave Simplified. You will find it. Uh, you will find the reference on the text, on the text to come. And the next recording, is, and the next recording is going to uh, to deal with taking a look at how an impulse should like and giving you a, uh, a clear example of uh, on the structure of uh, of an impulse. And uh, the third recording based on this Elliott Wave theory. We will take a look at a short. Uh, at a short uh, correction and just uh, just trying to to see what to look for when uh, when price meets such a uh, such a structure. Anyways, this is a vast subject. Um, many different uh, many different co conditions to be uh, to be met and to be taken into consideration, but it is extremely useful. I use it I use it a lot. As you can see, basically on my analysis that are, that are posted over the internet, on uh, on the website, and uh, I hope you'll uh, you'll get to to enjoy it as much as I uh, as I do. So let's move to the next subject of this Elliott wave theory. Let's take a look at an impulsive move and try to see what uh, what the minimum requirements for an for an impulse are. So until there, then. Stay safe on the markets.